Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these sliding bracelets, or sliding knot bracelets, I've seen them called also. Um, my girlfriend was looking for a real basic bracelet to start selling to the, the women that she works with, and they don't want real bulky stuff, so they just want something basic. So we were looking online, found these sliding knot bracelets, <laughs> and that's my phone. Usually there's a bird chirp after that, but I don't know where that's at. But anyways, um, came up with this. The knot they were using, I wasn't a big fan of the knot that we found on those, so I kind of messed with this a little bit and came up with another knot um, that won't back itself out. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make one of these real quick. These would be a really good item if you're ever at a if you're ever doing a craft show because you can sell these for one dollar or a dollar fifty, and it uses up your scraps pretty good. Um, you need about two feet, maybe a little less, but I wouldn't. I mean, you, you could probably do a, a foot and a half and still be okay. Um, but I would recommend two feet. Um, so what I have here is two feet. What we need to do first is find our center point, which is about right here. And we're just going to create our basic shape for the bracelet. Now what I want to do is I want the cord to go in to the hole from the front backwards so that the cord is coming at me from the back. And we want to do that two times. So we're going to go down through the hole. We're going to cross over our loop. So I have the left cord in front of the right cord right now. Just like that. The right cord down through. Just like that. Create another loop. Go down through. So now you have your two loops here. And then you're going to take your end, and you're going to go right through the center. Here, let me zoom in on this for you. Just so we can make sure you see what I'm, what I'm seeing. Alright, let me back up real quick. Okay, so you're going down through the center, around the back, coming at you. Down through the center, around the back, coming at you. Now, you're going to have two loops here. You want to make sure that that second loop is on the left. And then you're going to take your cord right through the center of those two loops and out the other side. Just like that. And then you can go ahead and tighten this up. Now the way that you know you tighten this correctly is you'll have kind of um, one cord kind of on an angle. And then if you flip it over... You should have two parallel cords there, and then you should have a, a set of cords here that kind of looks like an X. Okay, then turn this around. And you want to get your cord in the back part of the bracelet here. Also, another thing you want to do here, this slides now, just like that. So you can make this smaller or bigger. Kind of gauge what size bracelet you want to make at this point. You can change this a little bit once you get going but that's the best thing to do alright so make sure your cord with your free end is at the back of the bracelet down through come around out the back around and down through again and out the back this is going to give you your two loops just like that take your your working end and go through those two loops and then this is kind of where you want to set your knot at. So you want to work all the slack out. Just kind of roll it around. And then double check your length here. Because at this point, the slack that's right here, that's as big as the bracelet will get when you pull it that big. So you want to be able to get your hand in there. And then you can tighten it once it's on your wrist by pulling these knot knots apart. So, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Not much, though. And the way that you do that, you just uh, move this knot down a little further, just like that. And then I'm going to tighten that. I think that's going to be good. I think I could probably, yeah, I could get my hand in there now. All right. So, to finish these, it's real simple. Because these cords, these working end cords now, they don't um, 
they don't move in and out of this knot. So if you cut it here and singe it, it's not you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So I'm just going to cut this. You want to do that about an eighth of an inch away from the knot. Give you just enough to, to singe. And then I'm going to melt this down just a little bit. And then use the smoothing tool. Now one thing you do want to do is make sure that when you use the smoothing tool you you go up underneath of it and bring it up over top because if you melt this cord to this cord this cord has to move freely. And I'll show you here. Let me get that. See how that cord is moving underneath of the knot? Just like that. If you melt that to this cord, it won't move anywhere. It won't allow it to move. So real simple to do. You can do these. I was I knocked out a bunch of these. I got a bunch of them right here. Um, you could do one of these in probably two three minutes. Real simple to do, and like I said, it's a good way to get rid of some scraps. And you could very easily sell these at a at a craft show or anywhere really. Um, I, I think they would fly off the table at a dollar a piece. You could probably do a little more. Um, but there it is. That is uh, the sliding knot bracelet. Um, I'm sure there's other names out there for it. Actually, I know there are. I, I saw quite a few different names, so I don't really know of a, a single name that this goes by. But uh hope you like this. This is a real easy one. For somebody that doesn't want one of those big bulky Cobras, uh, I guess they're not that bulky, but for somebody that doesn't want that kind of bulk, um, this is a nice little friendship bracelet type thing. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, paracord on.